I'm very excited today to announce a major breakthrough uh, that we are sharing with you by thinking about photons and wavefronts simultaneously to create a new type of a uh, LIDAR that can be 10 times better than that. And to share this breakthrough and the work that's not published yet is our scientist, Achyut Akadambi. The basic idea behind LIDAR is simple. Distance equals velocity times time. Distance equals the speed of light times time. Here we have a car, and it's emitting photons at a target. But this is a hard problem. It's difficult to build LIDAR sensors. In one billionth of a second, a photon has traveled one imperial foot. So even if you have a billion FPS camera, your LIDAR is only accurate to about one foot. Now, it's possible to keep this photon model and keep making faster and faster cameras, but that would result in incremental advances. And so what we do is we send a dual signal to the target, where we send both photons and wavefronts at the target, and we exploit the very high frequency oscillations of light in doing so. Now, at six femtoseconds, at two microns, what would a human object look like? So here's a scan of the pedestrian. And you can see that the pedestrian, you don't just see, for example, ascertain the position of the pedestrian, but you can see the fine wrinkles in, in his face, you can see the hair, and if he held up his finger, you could probably get his fingerprint. The key idea, as I mentioned, is to exploit the synergy between photons and wavefronts. In particular, it turns out that our math is a multiplication of the photon term and a wavefront term together. This advance is enabled by implementing it in fiber optic hardware. So telecommunications to give you very fast internet bandwidth have evolved to the point that we can build the system on a table. And anytime we have a table, uh, you know, an optical setup in the lab, the question is, does it scale to the real world? For example, a self-driving car, which is vibrating or in low power environments. So we did a host of performance tests. The short answer is yes, we believe we can scale it to the real world. But the key aim is what else does it enable? For example, if you have an airplane flying high above the sky over a fruit orchard, at two micrometer light tagging, could you tell if the fruit is ripe? Doctors imaging through the, through the body, could they, for example, see through the skin without x-rays? And finally, to turn it back to self-driving cars, could we enable vehicles to drive through fog or detect pedestrians? And not just detect pedestrians, but identify and describe their...